Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're going to jump back into Marie Antoinette's story so I can finally use up all of that footage that I filmed months ago and has just been hanging out on my phone for a long time. But before we do that, I do need to address the elephant in the room. Yes, I got bangs. And I usually curl them so that I, you know, have that nice 1890s curled bang look, but I didn't feel like doing it yesterday because I forgot that I was going to be filming today and I thought, well, I'm not going to be going anywhere and it really hurts to sleep in curlers, so might as well not. And then I sat down to film and I was like, oh, I look like a dog. But you're just going to have to take me as you see me. So let's dive into it. In the grand ball, everyone is dancing gracefully. Wine, perfume, and elegant music give the hall a heavenly feel. Do they indeed? Everyone turns to look at me. Exclamations, praises, gasps. The attention is incredibly flattering. I suddenly understand why Mary attends such balls. It's intoxicating and I've never had so much fun in my life before. Person. Hmm. Did I zoom in? No. Nope. Person, is that really you? Yes, your majesty. He just tried to take off his hat, but didn't. <laughs> yes, yes, your majesty. Have I changed so much that you can't recognize me anymore? He winks at me mischievously. That's the first one I remember. His gestures are elegant and his gaze has matured. I'm trying to see what's going on with the collar of his shirt. It looks like he's wearing like a black ribbon around his neck and then he's got some ruffles outside of that, which is not correct. He's so cheeky when he's with me and he still looks at me the same way, with deep passion. It's just, it's been so long, I need a moment to adjust. It's my fault for going away for so long. <laughs> he looks so apologetic. Marie, do you remember when we first met? I, of course I remember. Memories of that night come into, oh, she actually does remember. I thought she was lying. <laughs> Memories of that night come into focus in my mind. Mary's heart racing, just like mine is racing right now. And I'm helplessly drawn to him. We were both wearing, is that, yeah, we were both wearing masks, but we were helplessly attracted to one another. You removed my mask. And in that moment, I finally believed in fate. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with this game being advertised to children. There's a lot of subtext just underneath the surface, which I feel is a bit inappropriate. Will you dance with me, my princess, like we did the night we met? I... There's a sudden commotion in the corner, and I turn to look. After a brief tussle, an officer is shoved out of the crowd and into the open. Oh... It's Lafayette. Your Majesty, uh, <laughs> Your Majesty, may I have this dance? All these years, I wondered if I'd find any rivals when I returned. Surprisingly, my army buddy is now one of them. It's a polite request, person. You're the one who shouldn't be here based on your status. You should keep away from the queen. Lest anyone forget, she is in fact married at this point in time. This conversation is going nowhere. You're being painfully blunt, as always, Lafayette. It's infuriating. Your Majesty, please, select your lucky dance partner. This is very unfair of them. Gazing at the two outstretched hands, I finally make my decision. <sighs> Can't I go choose to dance with my husband? Uh, uh. You know what? Lafayette in real life was really bad at dancing. I mentioned this in the first video, but he was so bad at dancing that at Louis XVI's coronation, he was actually mocked off the dancing floor, laughed off the dancing floor. So I feel like if I dance with Lafayette, it's just going to cause him pain. So I'm going to do him a favor and dance with person. Even though Lafayette has the more accurate hair.
I just want to cut in and say that this situation right here is my worst nightmare. I cannot imagine anything more awkward or tense or uncomfortable or painful than being forced to choose between two people like this and woe betide any man or woman or person or anybody who puts me into a situation like this because putting me into this kind of situation will not result in my favor. If you think such behavior finds favor with me, gentlemen, you are very much mistaken. When I take Furson's hands, his eyes shine like diamonds, so captivating that it's hard to look away. I knew you would choose me. May you have an enjoyable dance. I know you won't listen, but I'm warning you. Keep your distance, Furson. Furson mumbles a reply, but doesn't look at Lafayette at all. He is too busy gazing at me passionately. During the war, I wondered what we'd have become if I hadn't left. I mean, best case scenario, everything stays hidden and you're just about what you are now. Worst case scenario, you get fanned out, you get exiled from France and all her territories for seducing the queen, and she lives a life in shame, probably ends up having her marriage to the king annulled, and is sent back to Austria in disgrace. I wondered if another man's been keeping you company, another man like her husband, and whether he'd replace me in your life, whether your smile now belongs to someone else, like her husband. When I thought of these things, I wished I could fly back to your side. But I do not deserve you. I heeded the call of war and glory and disregarded your reluctance and left you. I'm really starting to wish that I'd chosen Lafayette because this guy is really starting to get on my nerves. I can't abide people who are so apologetic and self-loathing that they just become self-focused again and it's all about how awful they are. Oh, I want him to grow up. But you succeeded. You fulfilled your dream. It's worth everything, right? Was it worth it? I only know the pain of missing you outweighs the glory I have obtained. What glory did he achieve in America? I have heard of Lafayette in connection to the American Revolution. I have never heard of Hans Axel von Fersen in connection to anything except for Marie Antoinette. As far as I'm concerned, the only glory he ever achieved was by being her lover. It was only after I left I realized not only did I need to find my worth, I also needed to find a lifelong companion that I truly cared for. Well, that lifelong companion for whom you search cannot be the Queen of France because she is married. And that person is you. I didn't realize it back then and even chose to leave you. What a fool I've been. God's punishment for not heeding my true desire was terrible indeed. Stunned, I look on his sorrowful face and my heart pounds. I would be stunned too, but for very different reasons. I would be stunned and concerned that this person's entire life revolves around me. The world is growing ever clearer from now on, as though Marie and I are one. It's not too late, right? You've returned safely. We've met again, and now we're dancing together. Oh, I thought they hadn't started dancing yet. He is just standing there in the um, illustration. And also, it is too late, because as I have said many times, she is married. If the war- oh, I'm starting to get a sore throat from doing these man voices. <laughs> if the war had dragged on a few more years, you might have forgotten me. Am I still important to you? How? You're more mature- you're more mature now, more refined, more enhancing- If this spoiled sad sack is more mature than he was when he left? then I cannot imagine what kind of monster he was when he went away. And I'm no longer the same. People might change, but their core selves do not. The moment I laid eyes on you, I knew you were still my princess. No matter how you, much you change, no matter how much you might change, my heart will be yours until my very last breath. Is that... Is that me I see reflected in his eyes, or Marie, or perhaps the past? How long do I throw myself into his embrace? 
I try to analyze my feelings towards him, but his mind, but my mind is in a turmoil. Everything is a blur for the rest of the night, except Furson and his mesmerizing eyes. <sighs> Didn't we get this earlier, except in white? Also, they did have chokers back then, but they tended to be tied in the back, not with these little chains and clasps. Ooh. A blue Sylvian glade. All right. Do I have to, um... I've got to say, if this is Versailles, I love what they've done with the place. That sparkly bit of nonsense there really, really lifts the whole grounds. As does the massive cat. And whatever this nonsense is up here. All right, I think we're going to leave it here, but before we go into the actual end credits and Patreon thank yous, I do just want to say that I may be having to kind of cut back my video releases to once a month, just on the first of every month, and cut out the bi-weekly, the, bi the mid-month uploads. I'm gonna try not to, but that is a possibility that, that may have to happen. So when I started uploading in a more scheduled routine way. I did say that I was going to aim for uh, monthly uploads and if I could it would be nice to upload every other week but that wasn't what I was binding myself to so I'm just throwing that out there that I you know I've been able to upload every other week pretty consistently since I said that but that may be subject to change because I uh, have less energy than I thought I did going into law school. And I just, I just don't have time. So I'm going to do my best to keep on uploading every other week. But if I do miss some midweek uploads, that's what's happened. I've not just fallen off the face of the earth or been sucked into a black hole or anything. That's why. I've just gotten overwhelmed with uh, schoolwork. So I hope you can forgive me. Uh, so now we're going to go into the ending credits. I don't know how, but my Patreon thank you didn't get recorded, so I'm just going to record it like this, holding the thing in my hand because I don't want to set up my tripod again. So a huge, huge thank you to Mary Royal, Kit Kat Stitch, Sandra White, Emily Donnelly, River Shoal, and V Birchwood for supporting this channel on Patreon. If you'd also like to support this channel on Patreon, there will be a link down below. If you don't want to, that's fine. Don't hold it against you. There's also going to be a link to my Instagram if you want to follow me there, which you totally should and a what else oh a link to my or a link to my email my email address if you want to get in touch with me yes i uh, hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like subscribe share and comment bye bye oh and i can't believe this i almost forgot to say this but a huge huge thank you to xavier for making this uh overlay that you're gonna see in a moment for the end for the ending thing I can't believe I forgot to say that. I've been looking forward to saying that for such a long time. I was so excited to get that, uh, to get that email. So a huge, huge thank you to Xavier for making that for me. Okay, bye again.